So in this video, I'm going to show you how I extended my Babolat uh, drive uh, tennis racket by one inch. Basically, I 3D printed um, uh, a piece to stick into the end of the handle there. And so you can see that I actually split it up into two pieces. And that way, when I printed it flat, um, the layers would be in such a way that it wouldn't shear off. So, so there's you have the full kind of strength of all the layers being laid down horizontally, which, which gives it that strength. I kind of figured if I printed it one piece um, vertically that you know it might shear off with too much force. So I uh, put some screws in there. I, I made it so I could insert a nut on one side and then thread a screw through. And it prov sort of provides a bit of clamping force to um, to sort of uh, you know squeeze on that middle little bit of the handle. Uh, and that sort of keeps it pretty tight. But what I also did is I drilled a hole, a, just a really small hole through the side of the racket here. Um, and I added a, a little set screw, so just a really tiny, super small screw to each side. So that's just one more thing that I did to, to sort of keep it in place um, and to stop it sort of from, from moving about. Um, and so I, I have used this, uh, this is the second time I've actually done this. Um, I did it on another racket and I've been playing with it for probably about a month now and so far it still seems to be tight. So. I think the overall process is pretty good um, and you know it's not that hard to design you just kind of need a pair of calipers and um, and you know uh, some you know I use Fusion 360 but some software it's you can do it with pretty easy geometric shapes right like squares and hexagons and stuff like that um, you just need to kind of measure your own racket so now you can see I'm testing it just to make sure that it's it's really solid um, and then just to kind of keep it in place, I just used a little bit of hockey tape. Um, and that's also just to smooth over that little gap in the joining part. And just to keep everything sort of tight, I just wrapped up uh, the whole thing um, in a bit of hockey tape there uh, before re-gripping it. So um, I didn't actually get a chance to uh, buy a new grip. So you'll see that I'm just putting on this old sort of beat up grip back on just, just to kind of test it out. Um, and once once I'm happy with the racket, um, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll kind of get a better grip. But here you go. I'm just putting on the the grip, and then um, yeah, it's a one inch extension. So I find that as sort of a smaller player, it gives me uh, a lot more actually leverage on the serve. So I'm really finding that it's beneficial for that. And uh, I actually play double hand, forehand, and backhand. So. Having that extra leverage is good, and it, it's not too hard to control because my volley is, um, the hand is still further up the grip, so it works well for me. It might not be for everybody, but that's the finished product. You can't really even tell that it's there, and um, it works out pretty well.